the Fish in Canada show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks. Nothing works harder than a Ram. Food Saver, the number one vacuum sealing system. Stearns, the light jacket experts. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine. On today's Fish in Canada show, we're going to fish in one of the most unique locations that we've ever been to, and it's only two hours from Toronto. We've gained access to the Land Force Central Area Training Centre near Meaford, Ontario, a military base that just happens to have an awesome Smalley Lake in its interior, which can only be accessed by exclusive membership. Back in the early 40s, the Meaford base was uh, expropriated because the Canadian forces had to have a place to train their tank and artillery crews in preparation for World War II. And it's been expanding and evolving since then into what you see current today. Five! We've got a crew of about 400 soldiers. And our job here primarily is to instruct right, combat right, soldiers right. on all of their individual skills. Right. From a training perspective, fortunate enough to have an inland lake where the weather isn't necessarily a factor and troops can continue to do their watermanship training which we do here, and we do a fair bit of it. From a recreational perspective, we are extremely fortunate to have something like this in our own backyard that raises the quality of life for everybody that lives here, all set in the middle of a very intense and busy training center. Unload! The water that we're on today is called Mount Lake, a gem of a lake that, as we said before, is located in the LFC ATC Army Base. Now, we've been told that it's loaded with fish, but our problem is that we've got a bit of a distraction on board. All the black spots like the guys at the base were yeah. telling us, yeah. skin disease, not a big deal. We're fishing on a, a pretty special piece of water. It's a military base called Mountain Lake here in Ontario. Uh, and of course, we're fishing for one of our favorite species, smallmouth bass. But more importantly than that, we have a very special guest today that we'd like to introduce. Uh, be a, pretty good time right now. Huh? I think he should come in right now. He's in the back of our boat. Our come good up. friend Jimmy Flynn, all the way from the East Coast, boy. <laughs> Hi, guys. How, How are, are you? Good to see you. Jimmy, I see you brought your fishing gear. <laughs> well, this works down east, right? I don't <laughs> well, know. Well, throw it out there. How it's going to work for these bass, I don't know. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> was required to catch one with us. I got to hook it up with the rope and put the bait in it first. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jimmy's going to be our entertainment package for today. <laughs> I think we're going to have a good day of fishing. There we go. Cast her out, buddy, and get her to the shore, and you'll have fun with that little light gear. Don't get them trees. Oh, look at you. Hey, let her drop. Oh. <laughs> Bring him over to this oh, bed, man. man, whenever it's... you can. Don't force him too bad. Just let him. Got him. Wow. Way to go, Jimmy. There you go, my first. Ontario bass on an Iron Forces base. Smallmouth bass, buddy. That's right. Look at that. Way to go. I'll pull him up. You can, uh, good hook. Oh, you nailed him good. Holy, did you nail him good. Down his tonsils. <laughs> Get that line out there. You just grab by the bottom lip. Get some in there as hard as you can. Wow. There you go. Look at that. Look at the mouth on that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you or him. <laughs> It was funny coming up when I was driving up to the windy roads to get here. I, uh, this guy came around the corner on my side of the road and I almost hit him and he passed me and hollered, pig! I hollered, idiot! And just then I hit a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I had nibble. Oh yeah, and I was driving to the airport, I'm driving through Dartmouth, right? And uh, I was in the back of the cab so I reached up and I tapped the cab driver in the shoulder. Well, he went up, I said, I want to ask you a question, right? He went up on the sidewalk, back down the street, shot across the street, almost hit a bus to a mall parking lot and stopped that far from a plate glass window in the mall. It was real quiet in the cab, so I said, sir, I'm awfully sorry. I didn't think tapping you on the shoulder and asking you a question would cause you such a stir. And he said, sir, it's 100% my fault. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, this is my first day driving cab. I've been driving a hearse for 25 years. <laughs> Oh, I got a fish. I thought it hung up. Well, look at this. Oh, you got a nice fish. Look at that. Oh, look, I got a weed fish. Look. <laughs> look at a porcupine fish. <laughs> <laughs> the 
size yours, look, look at the size of yours and size of mine. Yeah, that's what they all say, Jimmy. <laughs> Here he comes. Scoop him up. Thank you, sir. Well, that's a nice fish. It's a long, they're really long and skinny, eh? Yeah. Yeah. That's a meat on them. If that fish was full, that would be close to two or three quarters. Yeah, yeah. To get to today's comedic frenzy on the water, we took Highway 400 north to Highway 89 west. We then traveled north on 18 to 42, which merges into Highway 26, and then onto our accommodations at Bridges Tavern in the town of Thornbury. Our final drive was west on 26 and then north on 9 Line, which took us to the Land Force Central Area Training Center. See him, come right up and grab that. Yeah. yeah. What? That's a fish. That was great. Perfect, right through the major lip. Little fatty. I'm very hungry. My brother used to fish a lot, but you, you guys got a stupid brother? Yep. I've got a dandy. Well, Tell us about him. Well, last week the boys down home said, Frank, when you're in the bedroom with your wife, for God's sake, pull the curtains. He said the whole neighborhood was watching last night and they had a great laugh. And my brother said, well, the laugh is on them because I wasn't even home last night. <laughs> <laughs> this is big time technology here. This is a Shamamoto. <laughs> well, this is good. <laughs> uh, it's a shad shape. Shad worm. Shad shape. Shad shape worm from Yamamoto. That's it, buddy. I got it out. And I'll tell you what, man, she's deadly. Shad shape worm. Can't say that four times in a row. Shad shape worm. Maybe now, in case you're wondering, and I know you are. Fishing on the Meaford base isn't entirely dedicated to military personnel. Yeah, you know, there is room for the public through a local yeah, rod and gun club. Yeah, eh? However, oh, wow. don't bet the farm on hey, gaining the entrance. Rainbow. It's very limited. Nicely done. The shad shaped worm from Shamamoto. <laughs> you got him. You caught him. Shamamoto. Caught him. Oh, right behind that one there. Oh. He's liking this, right isn't he? Behind that log. That's a bass fisherman right there. <laughs> oh, boy. I watch you guys on television. I know behind the stumps and the rocks, that's where they're hiding, right? It's almost like they're on the inside edge. I got one, double, we got double Jimmy. on one. <laughs> Get a triple, Get a triple, come on, we need a triple on here. In the 1990s, it was found that Mountain Lake was actually being overfished, but it could be rehabbed without a stocking program. The immediate solution was the introduction of a slot limit. And let me tell you, from our experience, this lake is not hurting anymore. The club members say that a bad day is 10 fish, and a good one, 20 plus per person. Let me go. Oh, man. Look at the boys. Give a smile, boys. Look at that yeah, boy. <laughs> That's fishing. That's fishing, buddy. Can you imagine having this on every military base up there? Wow. <laughs> These guys are spoiled on this one. It's, a, it's such a uh, uh, you know what? tree. It should be spoiled for what Absolutely. those boys do for us. Absolutely. Yeah, the whole country is so yeah. proud of our armed forces. My brother was over in Afghanistan joining on the first go around. Uh-oh. The his same brother that the... The stupid brother, yeah. Yeah, the stupid one. He was only there two days. I'm up the side and said, sir, what chance to get the three-day pass? He said, you're only been here for two days, but I'd like to. You will capture a Rocky tank. I'll give you a three-day pass. Brother wasn't gone an hour, came back with a brand spanking new Iraqi tank. Sergeant, my God, where'd you get this at? No problem at all, sir. I went across the Iraqi border and the first Iraqi soldier I saw said, hey, Skipper, want a three-day pass? He said, sure. So we swapped tanks. <laughs> <laughs> There's something, boys. You've got another soul around here about 100 miles. It's <laughs> wild. <laughs> and say hi to all the folks in the Maritimes. We're up here in Ontario. With fishing Canada boys, and they've been treating me real good. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's a good one, hanging within that log. Oh, it's a good one, buddy. It's a good one. Boy, this guy here, he had a spinach for breakfast. He's a fighter, that boy. Yeah. You got her. You got my worm in him? No, he spit her out, buddy. Oh. Fat. Cost you another dollar, Jimmy. See, that's one of the thicker fish there. Well, Look three at this. bucks already, three worms that. gone. See that? Fat yeah, fat oh, they're nice and thick. He's got a kind of a hump yeah. on him, isn't he? Yeah, the camel, a drum dairy fish. <laughs> I was fishing one time and I came down to about a lake, and this little fellow was falling in the water. So I picked him up and got him up and pulled him out. I said, How'd you come to fall in the water? 
He said, I didn't come to fall in the water, I came to fish and I fell in the water. <laughs> I think he's a good one. We'll see once we get him in the net. Right out of that shoreline weed. Oh yeah, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. That's a nice one too. Again, a humpback. That's the biggest one. He's gonna get a humpback. He's long. He's long. You see what happens when they seem like they're bigger when they get that right there. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Here, let me show you. I think catch and release is working on this lake. Look at that big last time he was caught. Now that's healed up quite a bit. Look at that hole. That's catch and release fishing. And Uncle Billy died of drinking. He drank a whole gallon of varnish. He had a terrible death, but a lovely finish. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. My other Uncle Billy, he, he drowned. He fell in the vat of beer at the brewery uh -oh. and drowned. And the police came on to investigation. They asked the guy sitting there to see what happened. He said, yes, I did. He said, when he fell in the vat of beer, did he drown right away? He said, no, boy. He could go four times to go for a leak. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's number 1,367. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that's a good that's one. That's a good one. Wow, nice color in that one. That's a yeah, that's a better fish, I think. Not aggressive. Here we go. Thank you, fellas. This is incredible fishing. Well done, Jim. Oh, small mouth. Yeah, that's good. They're fighting like they're supposed to now. That's the biggest one yet. Might be a little fatty. He's heavy in the net, I'll tell you that. Boy, that is just great fishing. Oh, man. man. These guys have got a gold pipe oh, here. Huh? Brother's not a very bright guy, is he? He's not a bright guy. I tell you what happened. He's living in Saskatchewan now. Yeah. And uh, I went out to see him. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, it was getting near nighttime. Mm -hmm. And it was music blaring from the barn. Yeah. So I peeked through a crack in the door. Yeah. And here's my brother doing a strip tease in front of a massive Ferguson tractor. No way. He took his hat off, he chewed over the grass, he jumped all around, kicked his boots off. I opened the door and said, Bill, what the heck are you doing? He said, man, you scared me. I said, what's going on? He said, well, me and the wife aren't getting along that well in the bedroom type of thing, and uh, I went to see a therapist, and she told me to do something sexy to a tractor. <laughs> oh, I'm going to follow him. Yeah, a bunch two. of them. There's three behind him, Pete. There you go. I told you he was there. You got two of them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got one too. <laughs> Triple header, boys. Here we That's go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let go. Oh, oh you got yours. <laughs> oh, we lost one. I'll go back. You'll get him. You'll get him again. That is great, man. Holy moly. There you go. Oh, who's that? Jimmy. That was great. You, you got him. You got him, Petey. Triple header. <laughs> wow. That is fantastic. <laughs> that is absolute mayhem. I never seen nothing like that in my life. That is That's mayhem. That's a quad. I had another one on. That's that is a quad because Pete lost one in between. Good job, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to make out my fishing rod. That's great. Man, As you can so see, funny. this is definitely a one of a kind fishing destination. A place where Pete and I get to share a day with true Canadian heroes. Aside from protecting our nation, they're also responsible for the transformation of young Canadians into outstanding, respectful, hardworking adults. These folks deserve a great fishery like Mountain Lake. Well, hold them right there for a second, boys. This is one of the best days of fishing I've had in my life. Now, you guys get down to the East Coast once in a while, I know you do, but I'd like to give you a couple of Jimmy Flynn party hats to remember today, okay? We gotta put them on right now. We gotta put them on right now. Okay, we gotta look at the camera and make a funny face like me, okay? All right, how do I make a funny face like you? <laughs> We're all getting fans. <laughs> it's a long way. The Our soldiers, I believe, are Canada's best citizens because they've gone off and seen misery and suffering, and uh, you know they really know what's important. Generally, bring my boys up. Uh, they love fishing here, so we generally come up and uh, do some fishing, or we just come up and go canoeing, just because it is such a quiet and uh, serene spot that you can just come up and relax, and any stresses of the day just kind of melt away. Land of for having us on your base. You've been wonderful.
hot spot for today's hilarious outing is a little section on Mountain Lake that seemed to hold a better number of fish overall. The waypoint on your screen will put you right on it. Drop shot, finesse baits, and topwaters definitely work wonders here. Remember though, this is a private facility that opens its doors to a small number of the public through a local rod and gun club. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishincanada.com. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sale, the outdoors superstore. Coleman, the outdoor company. Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951. Cooper Tires, life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And Princecraft Boats, dominate the waters.